Hello friends, family, and the rest. It is I, Fallen Fury, and welcome back to my Let's Play Dead Rising. Yes, it's been a while since I've Let's Played this game, and I'm, I just want to get this done so I can get this done and uploaded before uh, Dead Rising 2 comes out, because I plan on LPing that game too, but let's just get into it. Um, Things may be a little bit different, like, you know, the, my inventory is a little bit different than it used to be. Um, if I had the Mega Buster before, I don't now, so, um, yeah. I'll have to go collect a little bit more items than I did. Um, so yeah. If we last left off, I, uh, completed the first major, um, the first major escort, which was annoying, but oh well. And I did it actually faster than I was, did before. Like, I did the, I did play it earlier today, and I actually got it faster than, than I did before, so that's good. Um... But yeah, hopefully I can actually freaking play this game without needing to, um, uh, have to, like, edit the video and audio to sync it up together, so that would be hopefully good. And I haven't played Dead Rising in a while, so excuse me if my Dead Rising skills aren't as good as they should be, but, um, bear with me. Um, I'm going to hopefully, uh, you know, get everything situated and get everything better. Um, I'm not putting anything on hold for this one. I just want to LP this. Not all of it. I'll probably LP most of it, though, soon. Um, so, yeah. I'm just going to go up here and get this machine. Oh, god damn it. Of course, I never... Uh, uh, bitch. Alright, uh, let's go up here and get this submachine gun. If you haven't remembered, we get a submachine gun up here if you follow these, and that's always good to have. Like I said, I'm not going to use the Mega Buster. I could use the Mega Buster, but I just don't want to. It's That's bad LPing if you just use a, a gun that breaks the game. Oh, god damn it. But yeah, um, I have way too many healing items. Let me drop one of these off. What is it called? Space Rider Machine in Wonderland Plaza. Looks like it's out of control. Maybe there's someone out there want to check it out. Okay. I don't think a plan. Okay, since I have three healing items, I might as well use one to heal up. Get the wine. Go ahead and get the katana. I'm gonna pick up these two books. Uh, let's see, this one, yes. I think. Let's see. Nah. No. How do you read? Okay. Nope, don't want that. Here we go. This one, and I think this one. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna pick up these two books for you'll see later on why I'm going to pick these up. But um, actually, let's head on to the uh, Wonderland Plaza. Is that it? I'm not really entirely positive. I haven't played this game in a long time, so please forgive me for anything that's bad. Uh, that's not like canon to what I said before. But um, if you've noticed. Since I picked up the red laser, you, you've probably noticed that before, but, um, uh, yeah, um, it makes the emitting the red glow, which makes seeing around in the dark much easier. It actually emits, like, a whole darkness, like, the whole area, but it actually it's going to run out soon, considering, you get to look at it, it's, like, running on its last bit of juice, so, that sucks, but, oh well, I'll, get, I'll pick up another one off screen or something, I'm not really entirely positive on that. I don't know why I killed him, but I did. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I feel like I'm not killing enough zombies, but oh well. Ow, fuck it. <laughs> they don't want to die, or I can't kill them. They obviously don't want to die, so. Alright, uh. Another barricade. Food court. Yes, okay. And I showed you some of the um, obvious tricks to getting PP if you're not level 50 like I am, like the plates, and some of the things you can use to kill zombies with, like the special moves and all that junk. Um, so yeah, should be fine. Is it Wonderland Plaza? I think it's Wonderland Plaza, I'm not entirely positive. Actually, it's kind of funny, because I actually just played Dead Rising 2 K0 that came out Tuesday, and it's actually really good, I like it a lot, so it's actually really fun. Here's Wonderland Plaza, okay. Frank, your Wonderland Plaza. 
The most popular attraction here is the Space Rider roller coaster, but be careful around that. Okay, it's not a toy. Okay. Um. See, it's still light out, which is good. I'm actually making more progress. That roller coaster looks mildly boring. I guess it's more like a to get around roller coaster. Oh well. Or I like to see the sights, but I don't know. I really wouldn't go there for entertainment. I would go to see the, what one of the Lampaws looks like. But, but what the hell is this? Uh -oh, this guy doesn't look like doesn't look very friendly, especially with those chainsaws. <laughs> Me. Yeah, when you weren't holding freaking chainsaws. Also, you kind of are creepy looking. Even without the freaking chainsaws, you look creepy. No shit. Obvious statement is obvious. That's why I decided to give all the happy people a lift on this huh? fun ride! <laughs> oh, that's lovely. You know the dolls are still covered in blood. Speaking of which, you never see kid zombies in this game. I guess that's against the law, I think. Like showing dead kids on uh, screen, I think it's against the law. I'm not entirely positive on that one, so I have to leave a comment or something. Let me know if it is. I don't know why you'd know that, but whatever. Alright, there's Adam. He's our second psychopath, other than Carlito, which is uh, good, I guess. Oh crap, he, he's actually extremely annoying. Oh, get away from me, freaking ball. Um, his main weak- he, he actually doesn't have very much of a weakness. Um, like, some people are weak against, like, bullets. Darn it. But, um, his main weakness is, like, when he, ha when he has those, um, balls full of pepper. Just go up and... When, he, when he's using those, just try- uh, when he's, like, blowing up the, bu uh, the balloons, just try and shoot him when he's gonna- right before he's gonna hit him, because when he gets stunned, then he can go hit attack him all out if you want. Come on. Something interesting. Oh, it didn't work. Yay. I think when you get far enough away from him, he'll use the balloons. And unfortunately, he can't pick up the knife he throws. Darn it, I get to hit the balloons, not him. These zombies definitely are not helping. Yeah, he's actually very difficult. He's probably the most unpredictable psychopath, actually. Um, I think I figured out his pattern now, just now, actually, which is kind of cool. Oh, wow, I actually killed him. Sweet, that's like record-breaking time for me. Okay, be prepared for the most gruesome death ever. Dad. I actually advise, I'm actually going to put a warning up. Or, that's brutal. Queasy for blood. Don't skip ahead to a certain part. Because, oh my god. Even I was queasy the first time I saw that. So fun that was weird the fact that he dropped a freaking. Like, he sounded like a robot. Like, when he was dying, you noticed he just got deeper. Ooh, small chainsaw. Okay, these things are the best weapon in the game because there's three books that associate with them. I'm only gonna get, I'm only gonna get two chainsaws and two books just so I don't break the game completely. But I'm gonna use these for my main melee weapon. So yeah, when you get the ID card, you can actually uh, stop the roller coaster. And actually, there's a survivor on there, conveniently enough. And he stops right in the area. Which I, don't, I don't think you saw him before. I think like if you like looked in one of the carts, he wasn't there. So that's good.
Okay. And unfortunately, like I said before, probably, I'm not going to be able to get all of the survivors, which sucks, but um, I'm going to go for most of them, definitely. I can drop probably some of this stuff. I'll drink this. Oh, okay, I'll talk to him again. Sure, everyone's in the security room. It's safe there. Security room? I know a shortcut there. Yeah. This guy is very, very, yeah. very important to have. Because he knows a shortcut to the window of the plaza and he won't it won't activate until he shows you where it is. So yeah, the mini chainsaws are epic. They just rip everything apart. Plus they have extremely high durability. So yeah, um, make sure he stays alive. This is probably the most important. Oh, this is probably the most important thing is to keep Greg alive. Come on. Okay, Greg, I'm following you. Just don't be stupid and like die. Damn it! I, I keep saying I'm keeping him alive, but I'm killing him. I don't know what I'll do. No. Here, drink this. Can you give him stuff? Apparently not. That's gay. Ow. I'm coming. God. I forgot how dumb the AI is in this game. By the way, Dead Rising 2 is a big improvement on the AI side, that is. So that's always good to know. What the hell are you doing? Come on. Alright, Greg, go. Don't be stupid. Look at they just stop for anything. God. Are you that dumb? Anyone there? Okay. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. As long as you don't get caught up in my chainsaw. <laughs> oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? I like have to kill all these zombies or else he won't do anything. Come on. Come on, I know you can do it. You're a good boy. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Now the shortcut is that little air duct right there. See? You can go to Paradise Plaza instantly, which is awesome. So yeah, um... Let's see, let's go back to Paradise Plaza. Cause I think I have a call actually waiting for me. But you can't get the call when you're in the plaza that people are calling you for. I found a couple of survivors in the bookstore, Wonderland Plaza. They look Japanese, probably tourists. Okay. Alright, so I guess I'm actually going to show that in the next episode, alright guys? So, this is Fallen Fury signing out of Dead Rising. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone.